Let's configure Tenda AH302 Wireless N300 High Power Universal Range Extender. In this video, we will configure Tenda AH302 Wireless N300 High Power Universal Range Extender. First, we will look into its device specification. After that, we will power on the device and log in to the Tenda AH302 and look at its menus. We will then proceed to go through the rest of its features and configure Tenda AH302 as an access point. Finally, we will test our wireless configuration and see if there are some clients that will be able to connect to it. This is the front view image of Tenda model AH302. So as you could see, there are various LEDs in front. So one of them is for power, one of them is for range extender, there are three LEDs for signal strength, and the rest are the four port LEDs. Also clearly visible are two external antennas. For the model specification, so it supports 802.11n GB wireless standards. For the wireless rate, it supports up to 300 Mbps, so it depends on the scenario, the interference, the device capability, etc. So the frequency that it operates is in 2 GHz. So the following frequencies it supports or it has four 100 Mbps LAN interface. So it has two external 5 dBi external antennas. It can be powered by a DC 9 volts 1 ampere adapter and it has the following dimensions okay so for its features it can be in a range extender mode or in an access point mode there's a wi-fi switch an ssid broadcast switch an adjustable tx power you have the domain login function wireless access control and finally wireless security switch so i power on the device and connect a UTP cable to one of its LAN ports and let's check if we can acquire an IP address straight from this device so let me type in the IP config command and when we hit enter so we will see that we indeed got an IP address so the IP address is in the 192.168.0.100 and the default gateway is 192.168.0.254 so meaning to say high chances that the Tenda AH302 default IP is 192.168.0.254 so I've opened up a browser let's type in the Tenda AH302 default IP so HTTP colon double forward slash so you'll have 192.168.0.254 and we hit enter and as you can see we are now at the login page of the tenda so the default password is admin and we click ok so we will not save the password so click never so we are here at the tenda h302 interface so as you can see there are four menus in this particular model so we have the wizard menu wherein we can choose to be in a range extender mode or in the access point mode we have also the system status menu wherein we can take a look at the default configuration of this particular model so as you can see the default LAN IP address is this particular IP address the time the wireless connection status as you can see it's in the range extender mode and what is the primary and the secondary SSID as well as the mode and the channel settings third of its menu is the wireless menu so it's from where we can change the wireless settings so what is will be our ssid or wi-fi name what will be our network mode is it doing api isolation is there any security for this particular wireless access point or range extender is there any access control to be configured and what is the current 
wireless connection status if we have connected hosts in it. Finally, we have the tools menu. So on this menu, we can change the time settings. So based on your time zone, so you can scroll and find the appropriate time zone and change it. We can also upgrade. So provided you have the latest firmware, so we can browse to it and upload to this particular tenda and perform an upgrade. So you can also back up your configuration as well as restore if you have some save configuration. However, you can also restore to factory default if the need arises. You can change password since our default password is quite weak. So we need to supply a password or a strong password. Finally, we can also or see some syslog or logs for this particular tenda and perform a reboot if it's needed. Okay, let's try to configure or do the access point mode configuration for this particular tenda model. So we go to wizard and select the AP mode. So we click next. So we need to supply our SSID or Wi-Fi name. So for example, this case is my tenda Wi-Fi. Okay, so obviously this is for demonstration purposes. So we will implement some security and uh, we will select the WPA2 pre-shared key. Okay, so we will choose the AES or Advanced Encryption Standard. So for the security key, so for demonstration purposes, we can stay put with this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or we could change it to Inquirinity for our security. So obviously, please put in a strong security key. So nothing else or nothing much to configure here. SSID, if there is a security of this access point, and what is the security mode as well as the encryption standard and supply the needed security key for your case. So please uh, click save after this one. Okay, so it needs to do or perform a reboot to bring the settings into effect. It took around 30 to 50 seconds to perform the reboot or apply the settings and perform the reboot. So as you can see, once it reboots back, the URL was changed to some form of domain name. So you could also change it back to 192.168.0.254 since we are not changing or we haven't changed the IP address and it will still be the same login page. So we will type the password. So remember, we haven't changed the device password. We have only changed the access point password. So the password will still be remain the same as admin. So click OK and you will are now at the page or the, the page of the tender. So as you can see at the system status, previously it was range extender mode. Now the mode is AP mode. Okay, so let me try to grab some wireless device, a cell phone or a mobile phone, and see if I could see the AP or the access point with a My Tenda Wi-Fi SSID broadcast. And we'll take a look at the wireless, wireless connection status and see if I can successfully connect to this access point. All right, I could see on my mobile phone and I have log in to the or connected to the my tender wi-fi and supply the correct pre-shared key so let's click refresh and as you can see you'll have the connected host or connected client so i have only one client so however it goes to show that we can successfully connect to this wireless access point we will try to configure this Tenda AH302, this time in range extender mode. So we go to wizard and we'll select the range extender mode. Before I click next to proceed with the range extender mode, so we need to know what is the prerequisite 
for this particular mode. So this particular mode requires for you to set the wireless name of an associated root AP. So you need to have a root AP. So you need to have another access point that is currently broadcasting. You need to know the channel and the security setting for that particular root AP. So if we have those in place, so we can proceed or we can click next. So we need to supply the SSID of that associated root AP. So in my case, it's my demo Wi-Fi. Okay, so we will try to leave the associated root channel as auto select see if we can connect to our root ap so for the security mode we'll try to match what is the security mode on the root ap so in my case it's mix wpa wpa2 psk you have the tiki ip and aas so the security will be inquirinity so let's save this so after clicking the save it will ask us for a reboot okay so please click ok to save the settings and the device will reboot automatically so we will click ok and the device will perform a reboot and will get back after the reboot is done okay so the reboot took around another 30 to 50 seconds or close to a minute so I re-log in again. I'm inside the Tenda AH302. So we will straightly go to the system status and take a look if we are indeed connected to the associated AP or if we are really associated. So if you scroll down, so you'll see that the wireless mode is range extender mode. And the important setting here is the bridge status. It should be connected. So we are successfully connected to our associated root AP. Also to add, as you will notice, the LAN IP address was changed from 192.168.0.254 and this now becomes the IP address. So this is coming from our associated access point or our root AP. So by virtue of connecting in range extender mode, this Tenda AH302 acts as a DHCP client and our root AP provides this particular IP which is 192.168.88.253 in this matter. So in this video, configure Tenda AH302 wireless N300 high power universal range extender. So we go through the device specification. Then we power on and we log in to take a look at the AH302 menus. We go through its features and what's inside the menus. We configure the Tenda AH302 as an access point and we test if there is a wireless client that is able to connect. Second, we also configured our Tenda AH302 as a range extender mode and connect or associate to our root AP and successfully connect to our root AP and get the appropriate IP address. So there you go. This is our video tutorial on how to configure Tenda AH302. Thank you.